Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a soil mechanics problem, and in particular, this is a soil consolidation problem. And uh, here's what the problem says. It says a 20-foot thick clay is bound by sand at the top and bottom. The clay has a coefficient of consolidation of 0 0.5 square feet per day. Uh, which of the following most accurately represents the time when 50%, 60%, and 90% of sediment will occur respectively. All right, so for this one, uh, the real attack that you're going to have to do is find the formula, right? So what I did is I control f consolidation. Uh, so I highly advise that you use digital copies of the manual, um, whether it's FE or PE, because we're moving towards that computer-based testing. So uh, try to get used to you know looking through that. Uh, that PDF there. So I control F consolidation found the formula that we need, which is on page for the PE. You're going to be looking at page 91. And the FE, you're going to be looking at 262. Okay. And that formula looks like this T equals uh, TV times HD uh, squared over CV. And uh, in the FE, it kind of looks a little different. It looks like this. So I guess I'll write FE. Uh, it looks like this. TV is equal to your CV times your T over your HDR squared. All you have to do is just rework your units right there, and you'll end up with the same exact um, the same exact formula. So uh, we're going to go ahead and move on with this guy. Oops, we're going to move on with this guy, this formula here, because that's ultimately what we're uh, what we're solving for is this time uh, aspect. So uh, what we need to do is we need to look at our U chart, uh, our UTV chart. So for uh, well, I guess we can go ahead and attack it here. Let's go by our unknown. So TV, uh, we need to look at our UTV chart. So for U uh, equals 50%, your TV is going to be 0 0.197. All right. And so if your U is 60%, your TV is equal to uh, 0 0.287 and for some reason the FE is different the FE uses uh, 0 0.286 but we're going to be using that 287 for these calculations so U equals 90 percent our TV is equal to 0 0.848 Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, so we solved for our unknown TV. Well, now we need to find our HDR. I forgot an R in there. Our HDR. Okay, so HDR. Uh, this is your height drained. Okay, so our clay, whenever it's saturated, it can drain this way and this way because it's double drained. It's bound by sand, so it can drain, right? Um, so that means it's going to be half of that uh, 20, 20 foot. So our HDR is 20 feet divided by 2. So that means it's 10 feet. Hopefully that makes sense. If it's one, uh, one way drained, and you, you'll hear it be called two way dra double drained, single drained. Um, if it's single drained, you just use that 20 foot. But since it's double drained, we use half of that because it could go up or it could go down, you know, depending on. Uh, but that's the maximum height that that water could travel. So we found our HDR. We have our CV. Let's go ahead and solve. Let's scroll down to. OK. Um, whenever we are solving this guy for 50. 50% or T 
is equal to 0 0.0.197 times your 10 feet. Uh, that's going to be squared, and we're going to put that over 0 0.5 square feet per day. And notice that our units are in days right here. We got feet and days, so we know that our answer is going to be in days. So if we needed to convert, you know, this is a good mind check. Uh, that's why you write down your units. So if you pause this and uh, go ahead and solve it, you're going to be looking at 39.4 days. So there's your 50%. 60%, same ordeal. I'm going to go ahead and skip in the video and give you the answer. So if you've solved it with the FE uh, number that 2... 0 0.286 right here 0 0.286 if you plugged it in there instead of uh, 287 you ended up with 57.2 days so not much of a change but you know I just wanted to uh, give you guys a heads up that there was a slight change in that calculation uh, depending on which number you used so let's move forward with 90% and for 90% I ended up with 169.6 days all right so let's see what uh what answer that is so i got 39 57 160 170 uh boom it's c so i hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time